welcome friends today's session we are going to discuss how to calculate two sample z test for the given data as you know z test comes under parametric test here in this particular video lecture we are going to test the hypothesis of the given data with the help of p value and a significant level of 0.05 so that what we call it as the alpha value here i have a problem to solve compare the height of two male population from the united states and sweden a sample of 35 males from each country is randomly selected and the measured heights are provided so i have nearly 35 heights of us as well as swedish male as a sample data which we are going to work it out so you are asked to determine the us and swedish male populations are significantly different or not with respect to their heights with the significant level of 0.05 so this what the problem given to us now we are going to work out the two sample z test as i said already here as the alpha value is given this 0.05 we are going to compare it uh, we are going to test the hypothesis with the help of p value p value is probability value as you know now uh, before entering into data analysis tab we have to find the variance between these two particular data that is the heights of us as well as the heights of swedish which have been given in inches the measurement is in inches now as you know the formula for finding or calculating variance here i am just going to click this particular cell equal to i'm going to type var as yes, i have i'm selecting the values listed in us closing the bracket giving enter yes 9.51 is the variance of the heights of us people and second we are going to find the variance of swedish okay equal to we are selecting heights of swedish closing the bracket giving enter so this is the variance of swedish 9.9.51 is us variance and for swedish the variance is 5.47 right so this will be the first step before entering to calculate the two sample z test with the help of data analysis menu now we are going to calculate the z value with the help of data analysis tab friends as you know if you couldn't find the data analysis tab or data menu in your excel version no issues go to file select options you will get a window excel options window there you have add ins tab you click this you will get the add ins window here where analysis tool pack will be highlighted you just click that give okay that's it you will find a data menu in your excel version so then only we are going to proceed for data analysis for the given data now i'm clicking data menu i have a data analysis tab here i'm clicking this and i'm getting a data analysis window where we have lot of analysis tools from which we are going to choose z test two sample of means selecting this giving okay right friends keep in mind first for the given data we have to find the variance of both the data and then we have to proceed with the data analysis tab now variance one range i'm going to select yes i'm selecting 
the weights of us and in variance to again i'm selecting british value along with the label yes. now the hypothesis mean difference is zero and the variable i'm just going to type it a variable one that is the variance what we have already found it 9.51 9.51 variance two for the variable 5.47 and 47 yes this we have calculated that i've just entered into variable one and variable two i've selected labels because we have included us and swedish while we take the input variable one range i want the output in this particular cell i've selected it i'm just giving okay that's it you will get your answer right so we have calculated z test for two sample of means now the mean value for both the people or population is 69.61 for us and for swedish 71.31 Known variance already we have found it 9.51 and 5.47. Observations 35 samples we have taken and the hypothesis to mean is 0. Here the z value is minus 2.60. What we have identified the z value is minus 2.60 and the p value for one tail is 0 0.004. Since it is two sample, we are going for P value for two tail that is 0 0.0091 right and the table value for z critical two tail is 1.9599 we have calculated z value minus 2.60 and we have identified p value for two tail 0 0.0091 as i said earlier the hypothesis testing we are going to compare the p value with the alpha value now we will move to hypothesis testing null hypothesis here is h naught there is no significant difference between the heights of us and swedish males alternative hypothesis h1 there is significant difference between heights of the us and swedish males here we are going to compare the p value with the alpha value the p value as you know for two tail test is 0.0091 and alpha value is 0.05 here we are going to test the hypothesis when the p value is less than 0.05 we usually reject the null hypothesis so as i based upon this particular problem the p value is 0.0091 it is lesser than the alpha value so we are rejecting the null hypothesis that means we are accepting alternative hypothesis there is a significant difference between the heights of us and swedish males so this what the conclusion related to this particular problem what we have taken for calculating two sample z test guys if you have any doubts please post queries